Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through inequality. If I say something like 2s plus 3 is equals 5, this is simply an equation. Why? There is an equality sign. So anytime we have equality sign, we speak of equation. On the other hand, if you have something like this, 2s plus 3, just like that, there is no equality sign. In this case, this is an expression because there is no equality sign. Now, sometimes we can choose to represent values without using the equality sign. For example, I can choose to use symbols like 2s plus 3 and use something like this. I can say 2s 4. I can as well say Or now, when you see these symbols in representing a mathematical term or symbols to combine elements, this is inequality and no longer equality sign. Now, inequality, what does this mean? This sign means greater than. So you can use this, your hand to represent it. If I do like this, you see the sign. So this is what greater than. Why this sign? It means less than or lesser than. Meanwhile, when you have this is lesser than and you have something like this, it means it is lesser than or equal to. So if I say 3s plus 6 is lesser than or equal to, it means this value is either equal 6 or is lesser than 6. Now, look at this. 4s is greater than or equals 3. In this case, it's either it is greater than 3 or it is exactly 3, but it is not lesser than 3. And if I say uh, s greater than 3, it means s has values as from 4, 5, 6, and so on. If I say s is lesser than 2, it means s starts from 1. If I say s is greater than or equals 2, it means s can be 2, so it starts from 2, then 3 and continuous and there's another sign this sign represents not equal to so if i say s this it means s is not equal to 3. now how do you solve inequality questions we solve inequality questions the same way we solve equations because we have linear inequalities we have quadratic and we have simultaneous inequality so I'll release a special videos to treat all these things in full. But I'll solve some questions under them in this video. Now, when you have linear inequality, something like this, this is an equation, something like this, you solve it the way you solve equations normally. So this gives you 2s is greater than, we collect like terms, which means 5 minus 3. 2s is greater than 2. So s is greater than 1 dividing both sides by 2 you see so that's how we solve equations but there are some exception in inequality if you divide both sides by negative sign this sign changes for example giving this minus 2s lesser than 4 dividing both sides by minus 2 here becomes minus 2 here is minus 2 so minus 2 divided by minus 2 gives us s. Now, since we divided both sides by a negative number, which is minus 2, the sign has to change. Lesser than becomes greater than minus 2. Also, anytime you multiply through by a negative number, the sign changes. For example, if I say minus, minus s is greater than 2. And I say, okay, let's multiply both sides by minus 1. So this becomes minus s times minus 1. Then here becomes 2 times minus 1. Since we are, dividing, we are multiplying both sides by a negative number, this sign changes from lesser than. And if it were greater than or equal to, it becomes lesser than or equal to. That's number 2. Number 3, if you are reverse inequality, the sign also changes. 
For example, if I say s is greater than or equals 2, by the time I reverse this and I bring 2 first, then s this way, it becomes 2 lesser than or equals s. So, what am I trying to say? We solve inequalities exactly the way we solve equality or equations, except that anytime you multiply i both sides by a negative number, the sign changes. Lesser than becomes greater than. Greater than or equals to becomes lesser than or equal to. And anytime we reverse inequality sign, like we take what is here to this other side, the sign also changes. You can also combine inequality. If I say 2 is greater than s and 3 is lesser than s, we can do something like this. We can bring this and say 3 is lesser than s, right? Now for this, if 2 is greater than s, it means s is lesser than 2, right? When you reverse it, the sign changes. Therefore, here becomes s lesser than 2. So we've combined these two to have 3 is lesser than s and s is lesser than 2. So let's see some questions on that inequality. Now, take a look at these questions. And before then, uh, let me add one or two things I didn't add earlier. If you are given absolute value in inequality, let's say absolute value of s is the same thing as plus or minus s. Now, if I say absolute value of s is lesser than absolute value of a, it's the same thing as s is lesser than minus a. So this is how you do this. And there is something else representing inequalities in the number line. If you have something like this, 4, and you have this arrow like this, if this arrow is like this, there is a space in it. This is, uh, there is s. So this is s is greater than 4. You see, there is hole inside. If you have something like this, something as dark, if it is dark, this is the same thing as s is greater than or equals 4, if it is dark. Now, if it is something like this, if it's facing this way and it's like this, so this is s is lesser than 4. And if it's facing this way and it's dark, this is s is lesser than or equals 4. And this arrow can also be represented this way. It can be something like this. You can draw an arrow like this and do something like this. Like this. Then here will not be like this. So just know that this one means lesser than, this one means greater than or equal to. Now back to the questions. The first one says uh, 2s minus 4 is greater than 8. Remember I told you that we solve it the same way we solve equations. Except for the other rules and exemptions. Given this, we collect like terms. 2s is greater than 8 plus 4. 2s is greater than 8 plus 4 is 12. Dividing both sides by 2. s is greater than 6. So that's the answer. We didn't divide any part by a negative number. So no sign changes. Let's take a look at the second question. The second question is simply... 2s plus 6 is greater than 10. If 2s plus 6 is greater than 10, or let me change this to minus 2. Yes, it's better. If minus 2s plus 6 is greater than 10, collecting like terms, it becomes minus 2s is greater than 10 minus 6, right? Then minus 2s is greater than 10 minus 6 is 4. Now, to get s, we divide both sides by minus 2. Dividing here by minus 2 and dividing here by minus 2, the sign changes because we've divided both sides by a negative number. So this becomes s is lesser than minus 2. The sign changes. So we'll solve the second question. And let's look at the third question. This third question is obviously a quadratic uh, inequality because it has a higher power of 2. This is linear, this is linear, this is quadratic. So look at it. It becomes s squared plus 2s minus 15 is greater than 0. So we've rearranged it to get the standard form of quadratic equation. Now we look for two numbers that when we multiply, we get 15. And when we add, we get 2. 
That is if you are solving by factorization method. If you are solving by a formula method, we simply substitute into the quadratic formula. So it depends on your method. I've solved quadratic formulas in different methods. So I'll share a link to that below. You can look at that. Now that you have this, the two numbers we can have is actually uh, 3 and 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. Then minus 3 plus 5 is 2. So putting that here, s square plus 5s minus 3s minus 15 is greater than 0. So factorizing, pairing here and here, pairing here and here, we have s are common between this and this. So this is s, we are left s plus 5 minus, we have minus 3 in common here. So this is minus 3. S remains here plus minus 15 divided by minus 3 is 5. So this becomes S plus 5. S minus 3 is greater than 0. So with this, we can have that S plus 5 is greater than 0. Or, or you can say and S minus 3 is greater than 0. So S is greater than minus 5. Or S is greater than 3. So those are the solution of the inequality. When you see something like this, you see these two signs. You pick from here to the beginning of the other sign. Then you come to the end of this sign. The end of the first sign, you pick it and you go to the end. So you've got to see your two equations. This becomes minus 6 is lesser than or equals 4 minus 2S. And the second part becomes 4 minus 2s is lesser than 5 minus s. You see, this is how you do them. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So let's solve equation 1. Equation 1 becomes minus 6s minus 4 is lesser than or equals minus 2s. Collecting like terms. So minus 10 is lesser than or equals minus 2s. Dividing both sides by minus 2, here is minus 2, here is minus 2. So the sign definitely changes. So this becomes 5 is, less, is greater than or equals s. Now reverting it, bringing s this way, s becomes lesser than or equals 5. We've gotten s. Now let's solve for the next one. The next one is simply 4, 4 minus 5 is lesser than minus s plus 2s. Collecting like terms. This becomes minus 1 is lesser than minus s plus 2s. Here becomes s. So minus 1 is lesser than s. Shifting, switching it, s becomes greater than minus 1. So, when you have simultaneous inequality, this is how you do it. So, you don't need to rush on using substitution or elimination method because they are all, we have just one variable. We don't have two variables. So, we solve this way. But if it were simultaneous equation with two variables, you can do that. So, is this really qualified to be a simultaneous inequality? We'll think about that while we solve more questions. So, be free to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to check out my next video because I'm going to solve a lot of questions across different examinations. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself.